Hello and welcome to Mr. Paul's Pantry. I'm Mr. Paul. My recipe today is for a cheese and onion pasty. And if you're not sure what a pasty is, it's a small pie-like thing which you can eat in your hand. You don't have to have a knife and fork for it. But it's a beautiful tasting thing. It's made with just four ingredients and let's get on with it. <music> Right, now the ingredients we need for this uh, cheese and onion pasty, they're very, very simple. I've got some potatoes, onions, eggs and cheese. Now you can use any kind of cheese. I'm using cheddar today, but you can use any kind that you can grate. Don't use things like mozzarella, which you can't grate. It doesn't work any cheese you can grate and for the pastry cases I'm bought, I've bought some shop-bought puff pastry today I do make my own normally but for this small amount and just to show you this quick recipe it's not worth the hassle this is all butter pastry and it works a treat so I'll prep the vegetables and then we'll get on with making them now first of all we're going to make the filling for these cheese and onion pasties and here I've already boiled and mashed the potatoes. There's no liquid gone into them, just potatoes and a little knob of butter. Okay, I haven't put anything else in there. So there, by the way, if you want to make less than this quantity I'm making, just half the recipe. I'm making this largish quantity because I have a friend who's asked me to make them some today. That's why I'm doing the video. Okay, so in goes the potatoes. Next go the onions, which are nicely chopped fine. And then I'm going to add the four eggs. Just lightly break them up a little. And they can go straight in there like that and give them a good mix. I think I'll use the wooden spoon for this. Now don't worry if it looks a little bit sloppy because the cheese has got to go in next. With a good mix of all the eggs incorporated. Can you see that? Oops, sorry. Okay. It's quite a simple recipe. You notice the cheeses, uh, the onions have gone in raw. We don't pre-cook them. Now we come to the grated cheese. That's going in next. Now remember, you can use any cheese you wish as long as you can grate it. Don't use the type that you can't grate, like mozzarella and things like that. Uh, there's quite a few of them. One of the Dutch Edams and things like that you can't. So just mix that all in nicely. Now I haven't put any more salt in here. The potatoes were salted when I boiled them and the cheese is quite salty. But what I am going to add is a little pepper. I've left the pepper pot over there, just a moment. And I'm using white pepper. I'm not using a grinder. I'm using white pepper just out of the shaker. I like there's a nice peppery taste with them. You can season them to suit yourself. Give that a nice mix round. And you can see the consistency now, I think. It's quite stiff. And that can go in the fridge now until we roll the pastry. Now this is half the packet of the puff pastry that I bought. As I said to you earlier, I normally make my own, but such a small amount it's not worth it. So we're going to roll this now gently. And I want to do always like I always do with the pastry if it's a rectangle. I like to make it the right length first. 
you can make the pasties whatever size you want. What I do is I use a little tool, you've probably seen it before when I made shortbreads. It's called a share run cutter. It's got some little sharp wheels on here and you can adjust that to whatever size you want. And it's very good for marking out things. You can just mark it out. I just like using this because I'm used to using it. And that's not, that's about right. You see, that's the right length. So there we are. Now I'll do the width. Remember what I said when I was doing the pastry the other day about um, keeping it moving. I think I got the wrong rolling pin for some reason. Don't know why I've done that. There we go. Now we want to roll it out that way so that when we fold it we've got a nice size pasty. You understand? So that seems about the right about the right size. There we are. So I'll just mark that out. There we are. Take away the edges. Make sure they all cut through. There we are. That's right. Now that's going to make four pasties. We will be folding them like that. Okay. So now we're going to make the pasty, and I'm going to use an ice cream scoop. It's something I always use in the bakery. It gives me a nice even measurement. But you can use any kind of spoon as long as you don't overfill them. Oh, that's all. And I'm just going to do this. There we go. Oops. Now, if you make this too runny, you'll see what a problem you'll have because it won't hold its shape in the middle. So now I'm going to egg wash around the edge, the edges that are going to be stuck down. There, there, and there. You can use water for this if you want, but as I've already beaten an egg to do the tops with, I might as well use it because it won't use all the egg for the tops of these. all nicely. Now they want to come over the top, press slightly down so that we can do the edges. Over the top, press slightly down so the edges can come and meet each other. The problem there. There we are. And the edges keep them well pressed down sealed so that there's no escape and what I like to do is I like to press my fingers like that three of them on each to try and seal them and then I use one of my pastry scrapers for the bowl and I just press that down just to make a good seal. Another good way of sealing these up, and you've probably seen your mother or you've probably done it with a with a fork round a pie to seal it up. Just the tangs of tangs of a fork. And there we are. They're all ready to go onto the baking tray now. Now I have some parchment on the baking sheet just in case any bones over and they stick. Okay? So we're going to put them on here, one, 
two, three, four. And then I'll egg wash the tops. This is just beaten egg, there's no milk or anything added to it. All round. Right to the edges. So give them a nice glaze and then all I'm going to do now is with the back of a knife not the sorry not the part we cut with the back of the knife I'm just going to go like that and I'll tell you <laughs> why I do this because we're in the bakery we make several different pasties different different fillings and we do a different design on top so we know which is which when we're serving them so they're ready to go in the oven now and they go in at 200 degrees for a fan oven 220 degrees for a non-fan oven and they need to be in there for only what 15 or 18 minutes no longer i get these in the oven and i'll see you in a short while well here we are, these are our finished cheese and onion pasties. Don't they look delightful? And they are as good as they look. Nice little handy snack to have. If you've enjoyed the video, please go underneath and give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. If you have any comments, leave them down there as well. I always like to read them. And if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, press the subscribe button and at the side you'll see a little bell icon. Click that and that'll inform you every time I put up a new video. So it's Mr Paul saying bye for now and I'll see you next time.